what is going on Madden fellas it's the football buff back with another Madden ultimate team video and another episode of the Denver Broncos theme team as with the series 4 upgrade I've already did all my theme team upgrades for all my teams last team being the Denver Broncos so we're going to get into some of the upgrades we got for the Broncos make sure first time on one of my videos Broncos fan, Jaguars, Colts, or Lions, I do their theme teams. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on that video if you do enjoy the content. But uh, yeah, let's get into these upgrades. We're going to get into some gameplay. I am in the Super Bowl, so we're going to have a Super Bowl head-to-head -head seasons matchup, which is going to be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let's get into these upgrades. So for the upgrades, we have two on the offense, one on the defense. Now, I do want to mention, as you guys can see, I did throw Matt Paradis and Andy Janovich. Obviously, they don't get Broncos chem. But they did play for the Broncos, as you know, most Broncos fans would know. But uh, yeah, so I did this last year. I started doing this with my Lions team team. Only ran a Lions team team last year. But I started throwing these players in because they did play for the team. They just don't get the chem. And you don't know if they're going to get power-ups. But um, because of the fact, you know, we're already past 50 out of 50 Broncos chem, I figured I could throw these guys in without losing that 50 out of 50. So let me know what you guys think if this is you guys would still consider it like a pure theme team. I, I still do because they did play for the team. We are 50 out of 50 Broncos. I'm going to have to look at some other players that we can add them, but it also helps us reach some chems like Go Deep is now maxed out because of this. So I figured, you know, a lot of people are having God Squad, so we need all the boosts we can get using theme teams. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'm cool with it. I might do it for all my other theme teams. Just kind of curious on what you guys think. But uh, so we did switch to Go Deep. Now Drew Locke is chemmed up to a 91. But he's not one of our upgrades. If you guys do want to check out his gameplay, go check it out in the playlist. All my theme teams have the playlist of every episode. He was the last episode. Pretty good card. I'm going to be using him now over Tim Tebow, who's a better overall. So that says a lot. But uh, let's get into the two upgrades on offense, both coming from wide receiver. The first one we're going to go over, everyone knows, with the series update, the Muck Captain gets some upgrades. So we got him up to a 96, and he has five Broncos chem, which helps out when we're putting those other players on the team that don't get Broncos chem. That helps out a lot. So we're going into Ed McCaffrey's stat. Chemmed up to a 98. He's got 95 speed, 99 catching, 96 catch and traffic, 96 spec, 93 short route running, 96 medium. Do have him past the 90 deep threshold because of go deep. He's at 93. And then uh, he is 6'5". We know he's a huge receiver. I don't know if a lot of people kind of like using him, but being on the Broncos team team, we're obviously going to use him. He also has a 87 change of direction and a 91 stiff arm. The rest of the stuff isn't good when it comes to spin and juke, but... Uh, Solid upgrade. We're going to use them for this gameplay in the Super Bowl. And uh, let's get into the next upgrade. So also with the series switch, we did get some team builders. Emmanuel Sanders got the one for the Saints. As we know, he gets Broncos chem. Got some abilities on him. We are rocking Slot Apprentice because we don't have High Route Master. I do have Route Technician on as well. Don't know if I'll keep that because it's a lot of AP to put into a receiver. But he is a solid uh, archetype route runner. And let's take a look at his stats. 96 speed, 98 catch, 93 catch in traffic with a 93 spec. 89 short, 88 medium. Does meet only the deep threshold because of go deep, 93. A little shorter of receiver compared to uh, Ed McCaffrey at 5'11". But he does also have a 91 agility with a 98 excel. So super good excel right there. Let's look at his after the catch stats. He has a change of direction of only 84, which is kind of low for him. And then a juke of 86 and a spin of 80. I kind of expected those to be a little higher. Is what it is. Good slot receiver. It's probably going to take over for Jerry Judy for me. But, uh, yeah, those are going to be the two upgrades on offense. Now, I'm going to – my next video most likely, unless we get a, like, really good upgrade, I'm going to go over, like, everything to do with the Broncos theme team. So, don't worry about all that. Let's get into the defensive upgrade. So, for the defensive side of the ball, there is a couple of players I'm thinking about putting on the team. Like, Todd Davis just got a new card and Derek Wolf Both played for the Broncos, but they don't get the Broncos chem. Once again, let me know down below in the comments what you think. Still waiting on buying that Champ Bailey power-up. They are back in packs, but – He's still going over like 150k, so I'm not going to waste coins on that. We'll wait for it to go down in price, which it should eventually. But we did get an upgrade at the left end spot. So obviously team builders, everyone gets one. We got Draymond Jones, which we did need a left end. So pretty solid upgrade for us. And looking at the abilities, because of the gameplay, it's his gameplay. Double or nothing, we're going to rock out on him. Getting into his stats, 82 speed, 94 excel, 78 agility, 94 tackling, 82 block shit, 88 power move with a 90 finesse. Now, I did start working on power uh, power rushes or pass rush as well on top of lockdown because I have lockdown maxed out. Kind of want to start working on pass rush to get those pass rusher stats up a little bit because obviously we're kind of favoring the cornerbacks running lockdown. He also has a 62 change of direction, 96 impact block with a 91 hit power. So a little slow on the change of direction, but solid hit power. Pretty bouncing the pass rush moves as well. So that is the upgrade on the defensive side of the ball. Now let's uh, get into the gameplay. We got a Super Bowl to win. 
into our Super Bowl matchup. And we are going up against the Steelers, which is impossible because it's two AFC teams. They're going to do this whole little thing in the beginning. I'm just going to skip past this and get right into the game. With it being, obviously, we have two receivers. We're going to try to get the ball. So let's start early. We got Ed McCaffrey and Sanders to throw the ball. At least we don't have to target just one person, really, especially in the Super Bowl. We obviously want to win it. Got McCaffrey on the slam route is who we're going to go to. He is wide open. Turn it up the field, and we're getting past a – oh, a juke by McCaffrey. Picking up the first down, down to the 50. Just by the first play, I kind of can tell this guy looks like he likes to bring pressure and run man. So we're going to try to get Sanders on the drag route. Try to fit that one in, and we have nowhere to go. He got pressure on us. Third and 11, and I already could tell this guy loves his man coverage. Sometimes he drops back into that cover three zone, but we're going to look for Emmanuel Sanders here. Or, yeah, Emmanuel Sanders on the crossing route. See if he gets the separation, and he does. Fit that one in, Drew Locke. Good pass on the run. And we got a chance to get into the end zone. Let's go. That's a 7 0 lead in the Super Bowl. Manuel Sanders got the lead in the Super Bowl to start it off on offense. He does have Lamar Jackson. A lot of people rocking this Lamar as he's going to go to the play action. Draymond Jones shows up early in this gameplay for the sack. Let's go. And he's going to go on the ball. Might have saw something he liked. We're going to stay in this cover three. Use it right here on Kareem Jackson watching that crossing route. He's going to take off on Miller with the miss tackle, but we get the force fumble. John Lynch. We recover. Brian Dawkins, or Jarrell Casey, actually recovers it. We got the ball. Great field position here for us. Let's uh, run the ball instead of passing every time so he just doesn't drop back in coverage. Keep him honest. Go to the pitch with Dorsett. Great blocking on the outside. We got a huge gain. Try to juke back inside. Getting taken down at the 14. Stuck in a third and 30. Obviously not a lot of plays in the playbook for third and 30. So let's see if we can at least get into field goal range. We might be right now, but... Maybe, oh, we probably had Sanders on the corner. Just got to throw this one up. Maybe Ed McCaffrey comes down with it. Over three people, they bat it away. We'll take our three. Going to be first and 10 for him. Now on defense, we are up 10-0 in the Super Bowl. Getting really close to the end of the first quarter. Watching out. He's going to hit us in the flats right there. Nice pass. Game of a couple. Third and six, and I think I'm going to use a rush on Jones here. Maybe we can get some pass rush. He does have a sack already as we are losing that battle. But we get the interception. Quentin Jammer, one step ahead, and acrobat. Huge play by the defense again. We got the ball back. So we got Sanders in the end zone already. This time, let's try to get McCaffrey there. We're going to go to him most likely on this play action. We do have him on the crossing route. Fit it in. Nice pass. Drew Locke first down. Oh, it looks like he's playing way too far off. Let's go to the slant and just kind of get it right to McCaffrey as he is open there. Nice pass. Drew Locke loving that. Takes the big hit. Holds on to it. First and goal. Let's see if we could throw McCaffrey in motion. It's so hard to pass the ball on like the goal line, five-yard line. It's going to be tough, but maybe we can get him on this slam route. It's got to be a fast pass. See if we could fit it in right there, and he's using it. That's a bad read by me. Right to his Calvin Johnson free safety. Make the tackle at least. McCaffrey forces him out. Bad pass. Two-minute warning has arrived. He still has the ball. 10-0. We got the lead. Defense is playing well. User on Kareem Jackson. We're right there. That's a user pick for Kareem Jackson. Kind of want to get taken down right there. Probably could have picked six it, but I want to touch that with McCaffrey or Sanders again. Third and 10. He's playing some pretty good man coverage. We got to get some separation on these routes. Going to throw McCaffrey motion on the slant. I have a good feeling I should probably look for Emmanuel Sanders here on this post route. So we're going to keep an eye out for him. Make sure we keep Davis into block. As Emmanuel Sanders gets the separation on the run. Get it into the end zone. He gets so close. Down to the four. First and goal. And it's either run the ball or run an RPO at this point. So we're going to RPO to Emmanuel Sanders. Got a little room to the outside. Gotcha, bitch. Making him look silly. Emmanuel Sanders in for his second. We take the huge lead before halftime. 17 zip in the first half. He does have a little time uh, here left on the clock. 113. Going to go to the pass. And he dumps it off to the running back. Picks up a first down. Reggie Bush. A minute to go in the half. Let's see if we can get some pass rush here with Draymond Jones on the other side of the ball. Nothing. He throws it up. Atwater is there, and he holds on to that somehow. Well, he's in at least field goal range right now, but I doubt he'll take a field goal being down this many points, and he's going to dot us up right there. Nice pass down to the four-yard line. Got him in third and goal. Probably going to go for it on fourth and goal. We're going to watch out for the run. He is passing it. We got the QB spy there, and it's Draymond Jones with his second sack of the game. Let's go. And obviously, he's going for a fourth and goal. We're going to send a little heat right here. Going to use her on Atwater. Get there for the blitz. And, wow, he actually dumped it off to the uh, fullback. That was my guy. He scores a touchdown. Did not expect that. We got a little bit of time. We already have the two touchdowns with uh, Sanders. So let's keep getting the ball to McCaffrey. Padding his stats a little bit. Waiting for the in route. Can we get him right there under pressure? That's a good throw by Locke. We'll call timeout. Only 10 seconds to go. Let's see if we can get in field goal range. It looks like he is going to be in man coverage or send some type of blitz. Got that double A gap. We're going to see if we can get McCaffrey on the post route. 
As we get good protection, throw it right there, and we're going to lead him. Oh, man, if we let him a little further, probably a touchdown. We get tackled down right there. Probably just got to take our three. Yeah, let's play it smart. We'll take our three. Let's make sure it goes in. Five seconds to go in the half, and that will be good. We'll take a 20-7 to lead. Pretty big to get uh, points before the half. So start of the second half, he does start with the ball. We got that 20-7 to lead, playing pretty good in the Super Bowl. McCaffrey and Sanders so far. Pretty solid games. Let's see if we can get the ball back so we can uh, pad some more stats. And obviously, he's probably going to be taking some shots being down these points right there into coverage. He somehow holds on to that. Third and four here. Let's see what he goes to. We need Draymond Jones to show up maybe. Got him uh, right there in the middle as he goes to the counter right there. And Von Miller is there to make the play. Fourth down. Fourth down. We got the QB contained just in case he wants to get outside the pocket with Lamar. Watching the running back in the flats. He goes the other way to the flats. Picks up the first down. Got a nice drive going here. He is on the 36. We got to put a stop to this drive. Maybe a Draymond Jones sack as we're watching the running back. And how did Brian Dawkins just pick that over his shoulder? I'll take it. B-Dawk with a huge play. We got the ball back on offense. I feel like this guy's just going to start blitzing like crazy. He wants us to make a mistake. So we're going to keep a lot of people here in the block. I actually just put Emmanuel Sanders and Ed Mc... And he didn't blitz anyone. There's barely anyone rushing. I hate when this happens as it looks like Emmanuel Sanders is open, but 100% watch. We'll pass it to him. I knew that was going to happen, and I still threw it. I don't know why. that. Like, Why is he running back to the ball? He was wide open on the sidelines. We give it right back. We're really letting this guy stick around in this Super Bowl. We kind of got to just put an end to this as he is going to dump it right there and pick up a first down. Got to stop him here. No, no touchdowns at least. First and goal from the seven-yard line. Huge chance for us to get an interception if he tries to force anything as we're going to get another sack. Draymond Jones, okay. He's got his third sack. He's trying to get a starting spot. He goes on the ball. Obviously, might have saw something he liked. Probably shouldn't scramble out like that. We have contained. He dumps it all quick down to the 11. Another fourth and goal. We need this stop this time. Can't let him score here and trim that lead to a one-score game. Play action right there, and we get the bat away. Let's go. We get the ball back on the two. Well, not an ideal starting spot right here. We need some breathing room. Probably going to look for Dorsett in the flats as he is open. Get around to that edge, and he's got the speed. Hit a juke move, and we get caught, but at least we got some room. Another third down. We're in third down and long. You hate being in these kind of situations. Hopefully he doesn't, I mean, if he's in man coverage, we'll probably be able to get one of these corner routes. Vernon Davis is kind of covered there. And everyone's locked down. We got nowhere to go. Got to throw it away. And going to have to punt. Well, at least the defense is playing pretty hot right now because the offense has definitely cooled off from the first half. In the fourth quarter, three minutes to go. Let's see what he goes through. He's going to have to throw the ball down the field. Checks it down here, though. He is down two scores, so he might be in a rush. As he is, he's going on the ball. Let's see. Uh, we're going to keep using it on Kareem Jackson. See if we can use her anything over the middle like usual. Watch it now. He has an in route coming. Oh, we use her pick that one easily. This time I'm probably going to try to take this to the house just to finish off the game. Lamar is chasing after us, and he takes us down. Good field position, though. One more touchdown has got to be able to put this guy away, and he'll probably end up quitting. So let's go to the play action here. Going to probably look for Emmanuel Sanders on that drag route. Wide open. Turn up the field. Another good gain, and we are down to the six-yard line. But it does look like he's going to quit out. Let's go see if we can see these stats real fast for Emmanuel Sanders and uh, Ed McCaffrey. Emmanuel Sanders, 8 for 90, two touchdowns. McCaffrey was 5 for 97, I think I saw. So, solid game with those two. I'll catch you guys back in the main menu, though. All right, fellas, that is going to do it for that gameplay. Draymond Jones ended with three sacks. Ed McCaffrey, 5 for 97. And then Emmanuel Sanders was probably the highlight of the gameplay. He had eight catches, 90 yards, I believe 90 or 98. Two touchdowns, so some solid pickups for us. Now, let me know down below in the comments. Do you guys want me to do, like, next video, just a breakdown of the Broncos team team instead of a gameplay? Also, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about me using like the Matt Paradis and Andy Janovich now. They are or they were Broncos players before, so I think it's not really like cheating in any way because they're just probably not going to get power up, so we're never going to be able to switch their chems, unfortunately. But they were Broncos. They helped me you know, reach max out, like go deep or whatever I'm using, especially now against everyone who has God squads, 99 overalls. We want to make sure these team teams still stay uh, you know, available to compete. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, but... That's it for me. Have a good one, fellas, and cheers. I'll see you next video.